quick, everybody, before Kevin Feige finishes performing the spell that makes us forget all about the leaks, we've got to talk about two wild sets of photos, one for Spider-Man No Way Home and one for Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness that leaked yesterday. This is Bananas. Let's break it down. Spoiler warning. What is up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower as per usual. And we gotta be on the lookout in Nerdvengers Tower for Disney snipers because this is some pretty crazy stuff. In fact, I've been hearing that accounts that have been sharing some of these photographs have just been being terminated. This is a whole new thing. It's not just copyright claims and DMCA strikes or whatever. This is actual termination from the new Terminator himself, Kevin Feige. And so because of all of that, I can't actually show you the photographs in question, but I can describe what is in the photographs that leaked out yesterday and talk about what we think it means. It's a bummer, I know, but there are plenty of ways you can find these photographs if you're just a little tricky on the internet. I want Spider-Man! And I do, of course, want to say that we're treating this as rumor for now, and we don't actually know if these images are real or fake. And a lot of the other leaks that have been coming out, particularly for No Way Home, have been highly debated as far as whether or not they are authentic. We do not know. I mean, the hype train for these films and, and the, the sharing of cloud and all the craziness uh, when it comes to these two movies in particular is something like I have never seen before. So let's start with Spider-Man No Way Home, and there does a appear to be a leaked image going around that shows us members of the Sinister Six being held in a prison by Doctor Strange. It looks very similar to this shot from the trailer, which just shows him in this area of the Sanctum where he's performing this spell. Now, the visual effects here seem to be pre Viz, and this could be something that was leaked or hacked, just like some of the other images and, of course, the leaked trailer that spilled out for No Way Home. So this could be authentic and be something that leaked out a long time ago that was attached to a visual effects department or company that is working on finishing visual effects for this scene. And the only real big thing that is in this scene is it seems to indicate that, yeah, that's absolutely going to be the lizard that we not only saw in the trailer, but that will be one of the members of the Sinister Six. And for now, we just have it more or less confirmed that Electro, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Sandman, and the lizard will be members of the Sinister Six that are captured by Doc Strange. And we really don't know if there even is a sixth member. A lot of us think there will be. And there's a lot of rumors that it will actually be Paul Giamatti's Rhino and that you'll get Rhino as the sixth member, but it could almost be anyone. According to big rumors out there, they have cast for Craven the Hunter over at Sony, and so it's even possible that Craven the Hunter will be the sixth member of the Sinister Six, but there's no real evidence of that. I know a lot of people are holding out hope for Venom to be the sixth member. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I kind of get the feeling that Venom will be if he is in No Way Home, which I think he will be. It'll likely be in a cameo or maybe in a post credit scene that's going to set up the future of Venom in their Venom 3 movie and do the Spider-Man multiverse stuff that is heavily rumored to be happening over at Sony. We've done a video about that recently. You can go check that out. So let's talk about this leaked scene very quickly and give you our best take on what is going on in this scene in particular. And this comes from a variety of sources. Paul from Heavy Spoilers has been talking about this. Daniel Rickman has been talking about this. Even Grace Randolph has been talking about this. A lot of buzz about this scene. And so apparently what is going to be happening is at one point in the movie, Doctor Strange will have collected all of these villains that have, you know, come into our universe and he has them all in this prison here. Now it is rumored that Green Goblin will not be collected up by Doc Strange, and instead he will find his way into this place where they are all being held prisoner, and he'll have some kind of conversation with all of them, and perhaps even a conversation with Peter Parker. And the whole idea here is gonna be that all of these characters remember dying, and they remember Spider-Man or Peter Parker being involved in how they died. And so this idea of putting them back in their universe would mean that essentially they're dying again.
in. We're not 100% on this, but it seems like that's something that's going to be weighing on Peter. It's going to be a big problem that the villains obviously don't want to die. And Norman Osborn is going to exploit Peter saying this to get Peter to let these villains out. And then that's when a lot of other chaos is going to ensue. Again, this has been in many different plot leaks going way, way back. And many different folks have been talking about this that have inside information. It seems like the best look at what this scene is. And, and, and again, corroborating a lot of the pre-established leak. But okay, now let's get into the other thing that's leaked out there. Again, major spoiler warning here, even though we've been talking about this on this channel and many of the people out there that discuss leaks and rumors have been talking about this. There was a leaked image yesterday of Charles Xavier, which is apparently a pre-visual sort of uh, animated thing that will be in the movie. And we don't know, again, if this is actually real or not, but apparently accounts that have been sharing it have been getting nuked, have been getting decimated by the sniper Kevin Feige. And this lines up with a lot of the other reports and rumors that we've been talking about here with regards to how Charles Xavier is not only going to be in this movie, but he's going to have a big scene and a battle with Wanda, who we believe will be the main villain of Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness. And what I think is that this is a real image that is going to be likely used in that big crazy CGI fight that Professor X is going to have with Wanda. And this is possibly going to have and like somewhat in Wanda's mind, but you still want it to be visually incredible. And remember that just a couple of weeks ago when this all started, it all began with a tweet from Daniel Rickman talking about how there was going to be a fight in Doctor Strange 2 that would rival the crazy battle between Doctor Strange and Thanos from Infinity War. We later found out that the person he was talking about, even though he can't confirm it, was more or less confirmed to be Patrick Stewart's Charles Xavier. I want to shout out Big Screen Leaks, and I want to shout out the Hashtag Show for both being on top of that. Hashtag Show was one of the first people that said, yeah, it's very, very likely going to be uh, Professor X that Daniel Rickman is talking about it. And like right around that same time, Big Screen Leaks pretty much said they knew it was going to be Patrick Stewart in the role. So, really crazy stuff, and again, let's sort of now talk about what this means from the plot's perspective, and I know some people are concerned, like, what does this mean? Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier, Charles Xavier in the movie, what's going on here? Well, I did a big video last week, which I'll put in the description of this video, talking about a lot of the leaks that I've been hearing for In the Multiverse of Madness, and almost all of them seem to be confirmed whenever another story like this comes out. So there's even stuff that I'm like holding back that I think is really crazy, but uh, go check that video out if you're really, really curious. But for the purposes of this video, it's very important to indicate that I do not think this is the exact Patrick Stewart Charles Xavier that we had in the Fox universe. It is instead just a version of that character that exists in a world where he is in charge of the Illuminati. And this is going to be a big scene that happens in another dimension in the movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And this Charles Xavier is going to be in charge of the Illuminati, you're going to have the Boulder the Brave character, you're going to have Mordo being the Sorcerer Supreme, you're going to have Captain Marvel, but it's Monica Rambeau from the WandaVision show. So a lot of different things going on. It's just like a parallel universe, just like what we've learned about in Loki. There's going to be variants of the characters that we know, which is really interesting because it's not exactly like we're going back to the Fox X-Men. This is just an alternate reality where the X-Men just flourished in the MCU world uh, and we still don't have a full explanation of why there aren't actually mutants like Charles Xavier in the main MCU timeline in the sacred timeline so this is really freaking cool again we don't know if it's real I think it is real and I think it's just a part of the visual effects they're going to be built in for this massive epic fight because the timing lines up I mean if they're doing visual effects work on this crazy fight right now it's leaked out several weeks ago that that fight's happening and it's going to be visually stunning doesn't it make sense that this would 
all happen around the same time, I think it's real. And I'm very confident that Sir Patrick Stewart is going to be in this film, but there are still a ton of other crazy surprises and a lot of stuff that we don't know. Even if you know, you've looked at the same stuff that I've looked at and you know a lot of stuff about the leaks, there are still questions. Like, what is the deal with X-Men and mutants in our reality? Will that be touched on in this movie at all? What's up with the Ralph Boner of this whole situation? Is that going to be paid off and explained in what is happening with Wanda, the Darkhold, and just the prophecy of her ending the universe? I don't know. It's going to be insane. But there you have it, guys. Wild leaks out there confirming a lot of stuff that we already knew about. And it's just shocking, man. I, I, I know that Marvel at this point is probably upset that a lot of these leaks are out there. I'm trying to do my best job of like not just spoiling all the fun for everybody, but it's definitely something that fans are talking about. You put this out into the ether. There's a lot of fans like myself that want to talk about it. We love speculating. We love the spoiler culture, you know, speculating about what we think will actually happen. Is this real? Is this not real? It's all part of the fun. So again, let me know your thoughts about all of that and more in the comment section and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel to see more of our content pop up in your recommended feed and go check out the live streaming channel, man. We have a ton of fun over there, always streaming, talking about dope, nerdy things. Go check it out. It's a good time. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.